welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well. It is of course October now, which means that it is Inktober time. So I was originally going to try and film a video every day, uh, like a time lapse of me doing each individual Inktober prompt. However, work's just too crazy busy and I just don't have the time to uh, do that when I get home because uh, I'm usually catching up on everything else. So I figured I would do this almost like a bit of a studio vlog where I would film a few of the first week of Inktober so you can see my processes. Some of them I have already started which I will go through um, in a sort of top-down view of them and you can watch me paint some of them because I'm using a bit of a mixed media style so I'll be using ink, watercolour uh, and maybe some gouache as well. So that's where we stand at the minute. So I really need to get cracking. So let's get on with the video and um, you can see me do some painting. Okay, so as you can see, this is the first prompt for Inktober. This is Crystal. If you watched my other Inktober video, you will have heard me say that I was gonna do a skull with crystals kind of coming out of it like this. I'm just gonna fill in this little crystal here. I find drawing crystals really difficult, actually, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's not my favourite thing to kind of draw. Um, these are going to be purple, like amethyst. I'm just going to erase a bit of pencil work. So as you can see, I've already outlined most of this piece with ink. We're going to go in and do a bit of a watercolour wash with some purple. I'm just going to clean off my palette a little bit.
right so I hope you enjoyed watching some of my process and how I've done the first week of Inktober I'm just going to run through each individual piece with you guys now so that if you wanted to skip through the actual painting you can do and just come straight to the end this is day one which was crystal this is probably one of my favorite pieces for this week I really enjoy using the Colero Fine Tech Gold watercolours as you can see lots of lovely shine there used a lot of ink on this first piece so I really really enjoyed that and if you know my work then you know I love drawing skulls as well so yeah really pleased with this piece we then got day two this one I actually had to I made a huge mess up with the background so you may not be able to see it but basically I actually added some silhouettes of trees in the background but I really messed them up they looked awful I thought I'd lost this piece I'm not gonna lie I was gutted because I really loved the bear I mean he's so cute but yeah I, I made a huge mess up so what I did to fix it I actually got some white watercolor made it quite opaque or as opaque as you can with white watercolor and then put a wash over the bits that I made a mistake with let that dry and then I repainted it over with the background from the sky I just made it significantly darker to cover up the bits that I made a mistake of so I've kind of managed to fix it if I were to scan this piece in I would probably have to do a lot of editing in Photoshop I think so we'll see what happens there but I really liked this piece before I messed it up <laughs> so that's probably the only reason why it's not one of my favorite pieces next piece is a piece that I did uh, whilst I was away with my boyfriend this is Vessel uh, so the previous one was Boreal this is Vessel there's a little heart inside this jar I found some uh, images of vintage perfume bottles so I thought I'd use those as the Vessel so that was quite cool oh my god this one don't even want to show you this um, <laughs> So the prompt for this was agonal or ag 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 agonal, something like that. Basically, it essentially is like painful breathing just before death. And I was really stuck on this prompt. So then my partner went, oh, well, like a death rattle, um, which then proceeded to us discussing the idea of the figure of death and instead of holding a scythe he was holding a rattle so that's where this comes from I hate it but I made a promise to myself to be true to everything so there you go you get to see the, the rubbish art as well as the stuff that I like and the next one was raven this isn't my favorite raven that I've ever painted before it's okay I'm not the biggest fan something just wouldn't go right with the head he looks more like a pigeon than he does a raven uh, but it is what it is and that's what inktober is about it's about learning this one i absolutely loved the prompt was spirit obviously with it being halloween i was starting to think of like more sort of ghosty style things but actually i started then to think more along the lines of alcohol and yeah I came up with this I asked my partner what he thought would be a really recognizable gin bottle and he said Bombay Sapphire so there we go that's where we are I uh, thought I'd add a orange peel and a little orange in the background but I really like this really happy with how that turned out first time painting glass as well and then the last prompt was Zephyr which is it means like a little gust of wind but when I was doing some Google research apparently there's this classic car called a Ford I think it's a Ford um, or it's called a, a Zephyr uh, which I think looks really cute so I decided to paint that so that is the car so that is the first week of Inktober I'm not gonna lie I'm late with the with Inktober not anything else so I, I'm pretty late for, pretty behind with Inktober and honestly I've seen so many posts on Facebook where people have been like I am so far behind with Inktober I don't think I'll ever catch up I'm just going to give up guys don't give up I promise you it's not a problem if you don't complete it within October just keep going and you will catch up eventually I've actually sketched out the ideas right up until so that's the seventh i've sketched the ideas right up until the 18th so 
I've got another 10 days worth of ideas here that I've sketched up. So just honestly keep going. I'm super behind, I knew I would be. We have life at the end of the day that we have to deal with. It's not a problem, just keep going at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So I hope you really enjoyed uh, this video. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers that have joined and my current subscribers. I will be trying to upload a bit more frequently for Inktober. I've got another video coming up, which will be an alcohol ink. Uh, paint with me as well so I'm really looking forward to doing that with you guys so if you'd like to if you like this video if you like my artwork then please do hit that subscribe button hit the like button it really does help I know it sounds silly that everybody asks for you to do this but it actually does help us be found on YouTube uh, and if you want to find me on any other social media Instagram TikTok everything is in the comment box below and I will also list Amazon links to all of the products that I use this is the Arteza sketchbook, love it. I've talked about it before in my videos, it's amazing and I will link that below uh, in the comment box. So I hope you're having a great Inktober so far. Let me know what you thought about my ideas for these prompts. Let me know if you would have done something a little bit different. I would absolutely love to know, pop them in the comment box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Just, you know, filming my Inktober videos and um, My ink has exploded, so my microns are covered, god it's just such a mess. Okay, so I've just managed to clean up all the mess made from my ink uh, pot being open or not properly closed. So forget all my other top tips for Inktober, here's my main top tip, make sure the lid is done up properly when you transport your ink, because otherwise it goes everywhere. Everything is just covered in ink because I didn't put the lid on properly. Ah, covered.